Hey guys, it's Faye and this is Day with Faye. Today I am going to be reviewing the Shane Dawson X Jeffree Star collaboration. I got the lip bundle, I got the mini controversy palette, and I got the conspiracy palette. Ooh, that's upside down. This is my first time ever buying anything by Jeffree Star Cosmetics, not because of their, there was any like tea or anything like that, only because I have a budget for each month for my YouTube videos and I never can make it work, but this time I made it work. So as always, timestamps are in the description below. If you guys are looking for a specific piece of information, I got you guys, this is gonna be a long video. In this video, I will be swatching the Conspiracy palette and doing some eye looks from it, as well as with the mini Controversy palette. I'm also gonna be doing lip swatches in different lighting, indoor and outdoor, of these six shades. I'm gonna do a long wear test of the lip products as well. So first of all, I wanna talk about, it took me an hour, like literally an hour, to buy this. I almost felt like I was actually waiting in line at the Morphe stores for these products. I actually do live by a Morphe store. I had no idea that Jeffree Star Cosmetics was sold there. Complete noob, like I said, this is my first time ever purchasing from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I had no idea I would have just waited there. I think I would have waited around the same amount of time for me to get a palette and it would have come a hell of a lot sooner. But you know, I know for next time, their website completely broke. And at first I thought, is this a marketing ploy? Because I feel like a lot of things will be like, oh my God, you guys, we broke, you guys. There's so much hype. Because obviously when you say there's so much hype, more people flock to it. I really genuinely believe that it was broken because I don't think they would have had customers wait an hour plus to get their stuff. First of all, I was there two minutes before the actual launch and I was able to go online for things, but they only had like nine items, which was so weird. I was like, yo, where is the palette bundle? Where is the lip bundle? I'm trying to save coin, you know what I'm saying? Nowhere to be found. And I was like, this is so weird. What is going on, you know? So I'm keep pressing refresh, keep pressing refresh. The items aren't showing up. Okay, I'm just gonna go to Morphe. I went to Morphe and I manually added all the palettes. The palette bundle was there, but I had to manually add all the lipsticks. So then I, I immediately put it into cart. So while that is having me in line, I'm constantly refreshing and the, the website is breaking. I get this like Shopify weird error that's like, there, there's no website here. Finally, around 15 minutes later after the launch time happened, I finally see the palette bundle and I finally see the lip bundle. I immediately put those in. It took a while because it kept like, it didn't want to add things to my cart and then the website would break. So I was diligent about it. Finally, I finally get into my cart after I don't know how many tries and it has me waiting in line. And I'm like, okay, I don't feel good about this. So I'm gonna go on my phone and I, I swear on my phone, it was way worse on my phone than it was on the computer because my phone kept trying to download things when I was clicking things. And I was like, how does this make any sense? Then all of a sudden the Morphe line was like, hey, everything is sold out from your cart except one lipstick. And I was like, I'm not doing this, this is dumb. So I just let it go. And then I'm not kidding you, like 45 minutes later waiting in line, I finally get this like, oh, hey, you can pay. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. So I paid and then I got this weird message that was like, hey, your order is fulfilled, but we don't have an order confirmation for you yet. But maybe eventually you'll get something on your email and like, if not, contact us. But everything worked out. It took a while. I think it took about a week and a half for it to finally ship out. And I know that there was millions of palettes being shipped out. So yeah, it's finally here and I'm probably the 500th video at this point, which is whatever. Next time I know to go to the Morphe store and just get it straight up. With that being said, I'm really excited for this collaboration. In honor of it, I have a wig on, you know, because Jeffrey's always wearing wigs. Without further ado, I'm gonna get into the conspiracy palette. First, we have Ranch, which is a buttery, smooth shimmer. Then we have my pills, which is a chalky pink color that's also smooth but not as pigmented just because of the light color. Then we have Tanacon, which I think is a beautiful crease color. Along with Diet Root Beer, which is a stunning crease color as well. 
We also have Justice Theory, which is a beautiful shimmer. It's so pigmented. Then we have Spiraling, which is a shimmer black, but it's also beautiful. But since it's darker, it fades quickly, so you're gonna have to build upon it but it builds beautifully. Okay, so first of all, Conspiracy is a beautiful shimmer. I've never seen a shimmer like it. It has such a beautiful payout. It kind of reminds me a little bit of money. All of these are honestly buttery smooth. Next is Pigment, which is perfect because it has pigment. I think that this is beautiful. Next, we have Food Videos, which this color is perfectly to describe that because yeah, like Shane Dawson said, it's his color that he would have on his YouTube videos, but it also kind of reminds me of mustard, just a little bit, so yeah. And then there's Trisha, which is a beautiful Barbie pink shimmer. I love it so much. And then we have Cheese Dust, which is a perfect name, and it's a beautiful orange. I also feel like it's pigmented and very soft as well. And then we have Flaming Hot, which is basically the essence of a flaming hot Cheeto. I love these names. I think these names are really unique and different. These are definitely much more. Bam! Probably try to create a look with all six of these, but uh, it might be a little bit crazy, so I'm probably gonna only pick a little bit of them. But honestly, I can totally see many, many looks that you can come from this palette, and it could be completely different from a bunch of different ranges of things. So, the next six colors is What's the Tea, which I have never had an eyeshadow with that color before. It's like a sage green. I love it though. I wear this color all the time when I work out. I don't know, it just brings me calm. So I definitely feel like calm tea, yep. It's like a tea color, totally see it. Next up we have Diet Cola, which I think is the most pigmented shimmer. Ooh, okay, I don't know. Diet Cola and Just a Theory are very, very pigmented. And then Trisha and Ranch and Conspiracy are also pigmented, but just not as much as Just A Theory and Diet Cola. But Diet Cola, beautiful color. I feel like these colors were perfectly named because they definitely describe the color. Like I think Diet Cola, I think gray. Next we have Not A Fact, which is pigmented, but because it's such a dark color, it fades quickly. But like I said, it does really well at blending and building it up just from my finger swatch. And then I have Sleep Paralysis, which again is pigmented, but it's on the second tier of pigmented for the shimmers on this palette. But it's like an A minus pretty much, but the other one was like A plus, you know? But it is a beautiful color. And then we have Illuminati, which I also really like. I think it also kind of reminds me of money, even though I said that about conspiracy, I guess, Conspiracy is more like old money that has just like faded with time and Illuminati is like brand new, freshly printed money. And then we have my rides here, which again, like I said, when they're darker and they're uh, matte shades, they tend to fade pretty quickly. But I think it's gonna be really good to do like a smoky eye look or if you like to use eyeshadow as eyeliner, which I'm gonna be doing for all of my looks just because um, it's easier to clean up. If I did eyeliner, it's gonna be such a pain in the butt for me to do all these eye looks. I'm also not gonna be putting on false eyelashes just because, again, I'm trying to do a lot of eye looks as possible and that's just gonna be a hassle. You can imagine me having false eyelashes on. So next up, I'm gonna be showing you guys some eye looks from the Conspiracy palette. Like I said, there's so many unique looks that you can derive from this. So I think you got your basic look, but then you also got a lot of fun and flair into it. So this is the first eye look, which is the eye look that you saw in the beginning of the video. This is a very basic look. I think that you could wear this every day pretty much. I loved how everything went together. I think that it blended out very nicely and it was honestly, I feel like my favorite experience with an eyeshadow palette ever. For this look, you have Tanacon in the crease, like all the way. And then we have Diet Root Beer on the outer crease and also like on the edge of the lid. And then on the inner lid and the inner crease, we have my pills and then in this part the middle of the lid essentially the center of it plus mac fix plus on the brush itself we have theory 
So I really like to use eyeshadow as eyeliner a lot of the times because it's so easy to put on and easy to take off as well. So yeah, I use Spiraling as the outer eyeliner slash wing. And yeah, you do have to worry about fallout, but just tap your brush before you put it on your face and you should be good to go. On to the next. This is my second look. I kind of was thinking of, you know, cotton candy vibes a little bit. So what I did, so the main shade being featured here is What's the Tea, which is on my crease and also my lid. And then for eyeliner on the top here of this pink line, I have this green line, which is Illuminati. And then underneath I have Trisha. So for the outer crease, I have pigment and then on the inside i have ranch which is for my inner highlight and that concludes this look now i will say that it was really difficult to get what's the tea to be super pigmented i had to put on so many layers of it definitely keep that in mind for the pastel or like the lighter colors that's something that you're going to experience but I do think that it definitely is buildable. It's just, you need to do, I don't know, this was like four layers of it. Something to take note of, but I think this is really cute. Personally, when I have like a, woo, I look, I like to have like a muted down lip. I don't have one from the Jeffree Star collection. So I just have my bear and coconut combo from Kylie Cosmetics and that's what I'm wearing down here. So for the rest of the eye looks, it's just gonna be this lipstick, but I'm just putting that out there because I know someone's gonna ask me what I'm wearing and I, I just wanna put it out there. But overall, I am pretty happy with how these shadows are performing. So on to the third and final look from the conservative. How funny would that be if this was called the conservative palette? The conservative palette would be like just a bunch of nudes that's it. Last up, as I was trying to say last up, is the last look from the Conspiracy Palette. You're the only sunset that I'll never forget. Riding on so, um, this third look is basically kind of like a rainbow, but it's just like the warm rainbow. So it's like red, orange, yellow. I think that this look looks fun on brown eyes for sure. It's super easy to do. What I do is I start on red and then I do orange and I just keep, you'll have to like add some layers. The orange one you kind of have to build up a lot and then same with the yellow as well. Just the lighter it is, the more you'll have to build up. The red of course is the flaming hot. So that's just like your outer crease and then also just a little bit of your outer lid. And then in the middle, we have cheese dust, which is the middle of my crease and the middle of my lid. And then in the inner corner highlight and also the little bit of my inner lid, you have food videos. And then again, as a liner, I'm using my rides here, which is just like a matte black. This is the third look. I am here for it. So far, I feel like you can come up with a million looks from this palette, which I love. And I really truly feel like this is my favorite palette that I've ever had just because it's so versatile. You can have fun looks, but you can also do like basic looks. It's kind of like a all in one palette. So next up, I'm going to be swatching the mini controversy palette and then I'm gonna be doing two looks from this one. Here we go. For this mini controversy palette, we have Flat Earth. Flat Earth reminds me of a chalk color I used to have as a kid. And same with my pills from the Conspiracy palette also gives me that vibe as well. Compared to my pills, we have that same kind of like, it's not as pigmented just because it is so light. It's really hard. I've never seen personally a formulation where it's like, bam, pigmented. You do have to work at it. It's a pretty color. And then we have Cry On My Couch, which I feel like is my foundation color. I'm not kidding you. We are like the same. This is the color of my skin, basically. That's why when you're like, what? I don't see it on my arm. It's because it matches with my skin color. This should have been just called Day With Faye because it is my skin color. And then there's my boyfriend's purse, which is a pretty shimmer as well. It is very pigmented, smooth. All of these are smooth and buttery. There's not one that felt weird. And then we have Controversy, which has a beautiful 
purple, royal purple element to it. And then we have Diet Root Beer, which is also in the Conspiracy palette. Again, super beautifully pigmented. I think that this is a really good crease shade, so I'm glad that they put it in the Mini Controversy palette. Then we have My Apology, which is a stunning shimmer. I am obsessed with it, and I think that that color would look good on people with brown eyes. Yeah. And then we have Exposed, which again is like that, reminds me of chalk paint, again, just with the coloring. But I think that Exposed has more pigmented and is better to work with compared to Flat Earth and My Pills. And then we have Canceled, which is also beautifully pigmented. I think that this is a stunning color. I've never worn this color on my eyes, but it is a color I like to wear, so I'll be interested to see how it compares on my face. And then we have the simulation, which is a beautiful royal blue kind of shimmer. It is pigmented, but it does fade, so you're gonna have to do a little bit of work. But other than that, I think that looking at both palettes, they swatch it beautifully. They feel so beautifully and smooth, and they just make me very happy, so. Next up, I'm gonna do some looks for the mini controversy palette. Like day by day. So for this look, we are looking at the blues specifically from the Mini Controversy palette. It's kind of like my last eye look where it's like a graduation from light to dark. So first up, I take Flat Earth and I put it on basically from here to the middle and also my crease. And then I will add Canceled on my middle to outer lid and crease. And I like kind of just keep mixing between the two until I like the gradation. And then for the little tiny wing that I have that I blended out a little bit more so it kind of just like looks not as harsh as like a line, if that makes sense. So for that, I use the simulation. So that's here and it's also under my eye because I kind of like the idea of having a different color under my eye. So that's this look. The next look is gonna be your basic look that you can get from the mini controversy palette. In October, it feels like summertime. I keep falling for you like every night. So for this last look, first of all, I want to apologize because I still have some blue that is just like inside my eyeball at this point. So if you see a little bit of blue, that's not supposed to be there. So use your suspension of disbelief, you know what I'm saying? So for this one, we have dye root beer on the crease and outer lid. Then we have my apology, which goes from the outer part of the lid to the middle. It's okay if it goes a little bit more than that. And then it's all underneath my eye as well. And then I added some concealer from the inner part of my lid all the way to the middle. And then I tried to like blend it out. So it's not like a straight line, you know what I'm saying? So it's not supposed to be perfect so that it can kind of have that little bit of a gradation. And then I have my boyfriend's purse on the inner part of my eye. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of looks that you can get from this. A lot of the looks are very buildable and easy to use. You know, I'm not an expert makeup artist, but for someone who is like a novice at makeup, it's good to go. So that concludes my eye looks. Next up, I'm gonna be doing some lip swatches for you guys. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. I'm all up in the clouds when I'm pouring rain. Ain't never coming down unless you call my name. Yeah, we should take it slow, just like day by day, like day by day. So the first color that we have is Shane, and Shane is a brown undertone gunmetal. Now this color is definitely unique, and the thing that I really don't like about this is that it smells like licorice. I hate licorice, like, with a passion. When I smelt it, I was like, oh no, it's gonna be like right under my nose is the worst spot. So if you hate licorice, don't get this one. I don't know if all of them smell like licorice. If they do, I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem with myself, but that's okay. All of these are vegan and cruelty-free, which is extremely important to me. But yeah, I think that this color is 
absolutely different. I've never seen anything like it. I feel like this color would look better on darker skin tones in my opinion. I tried a Jeffree Star Velour lipstick ages ago. It's been like three years since then. Basically new, you wanna hope with a color like this, your teeth are white, but they still, I don't know, with this, it kind of looks like a little bit of like a bluish teeth just like in this lighting specifically. I am not a big fan of this color, but you know, not every color is for everyone, which is totally okay. I think that I would wear this if I kind of wanted to give off like goth vibes. I have not tested out the kiss proof quality of this. Online, it says that it is kiss proof, not makeout proof and not food with oils proof. So you gotta, you gotta watch out. So as you can see, we got a blank canvas here. And it is kiss proof. I totally didn't think it was gonna be it. I'm not even kidding you. I have never experienced so far a metal that was 100% kiss proof, but this is 100% kiss proof. So I am super pleasantly surprised. That definitely bumps this lipstick up. Again, just not a huge fan of the color. And so yeah, on to the next. The next shade that I have is Are You Filming? And this is a perfect color to represent Are You Filming? Because it matches. I don't know why I'm pointing to you guys as if you could see the record button, but I see it because I'm filming right now. This is like the same color as a recording signal. Are You Filming is a neon bright red. So I'm really excited to see how this looks like because usually reds look good on my fairy skin. Are you filming? Are you cute AF? Yes. It's like that classic like bluish red. I, I freaking love it. I think it is stunning on fair skin. I love it. It's very cute. I also feel like this would look beautiful on darker skin tones as well. I feel like this is a good, I wouldn't say like every day because I don't know, I don't think red lips are something for every day, but it's something for like a cute occasion, like a cute date. I love her i should have started out with this one or maybe not but again it smells like licorice it doesn't really smell as much anymore so the good news if you hate licorice that it fades after a couple of minutes which is nice but just the first time i'm putting it on i'm like oh no oh no i wish that it was a different scent but it's okay so this is the matte formula i want to see if it's kiss proof as you can see clean slate that makes me so happy. It's kiss proof. As it says on Jeffree Star Cosmetics, not makeout proof and not food with oil proof. So, so far this is my favorite color, but the next one that we're gonna be doing is Ryland. And Ryland is a baby pink and rose gold. It's a baby pink and rose gold color. I am honestly a little bit scared about how this is gonna look on my skin because I'm like, is it gonna be too bright though? Stay tuned and find out. My best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekends that are watching a movie. But you wanted me to be what you need to be. I still cannot get over the licorice scent. When I put it in, I feel like I'm putting licorice inside my mouth and I'm like, my, my body's like, please don't do this. Anyways. I don't like how this color looks like on my skin, y'all. It, it's crazy to me. I mean, you might love how this looks and you know, power to you. If this color and you have my skin tone and you're like, I love it. Don't let that stop you, you know? Me personally, I feel like I, I'm really sickly looking in my lips and I don't know I think I would use this as like a topper you know just like in the middle of my lips maybe with like another pinky color as the bottom base again the formulation is really nice the pigment is there I think that this this 
color I think looks stunning on medium skin tones. I think that, you know, for dark, it's gonna be too light. Usually stuff that's too light and too dark doesn't do well for either spectrum of the, you know, skin tone realm. So yeah, I think that if you have very deep skin tone or a very light skin tone, in my opinion, I don't think it would look that good. But again, to each their own. I don't know, when I was talking about it, I had a different shade. So this is Ryland. This is not Ryland. The next color is I Gotta Go, which I think I'm gonna have a little bit more luck with. And I Gotta Go is a coppery metal. I guess I never loved you, and that's okay with me. Okay, 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 uh, okay with me. Okay, 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 uh. Sometimes I start to wonder if I should change my mind but when i think back to you i feel the same every time so as i predicted i gotta go looks beautiful on my fair skin tone i think that it it required like two coats of it which was a little bit different than the other ones so i think it's just because of the color you know what i'm saying that you're gonna a little bit work a little bit extra but it feels really nice on the lips i think it's like at least for me it's like my lips as a metal pretty much i think that it looks good with this eye look which is from the controversy palette i think that this look would also look good on deep skin tones as well honestly i feel like this color would look good on a lot of different skin tones so definitely impressed I think it's very cute. And now the next color is going to be, oh my God. And that's how I feel about this color, first impressions, because I'm like, oh my God, it's gonna be too light on my skin. But we'll see. Oh my God is a matte baby pink. Let's see how it looks. My eyes open, but you said, you said, keep them close and be in the moment. So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted. But what about what I want? What about what I want and what I Oh my god, in freaking deed, I look insane. I look like a retired go-go dancer. You guys, I hate how this looks on my skin. I'm so sorry. The formulation is awesome. Besides the licorice scent, y'all already know how I feel about that. But this color just it does not do me any favors. I think that for a majority of these colors, I still have one left, I know, but I know that one's gonna look good because I, I know my skin tone, but the majority of this, these things I feel like would look good on someone who's tanner, you know, but like on someone like me, I just look like I, I actually got a little bit too crazy with the Pepto-Bismol and then just decided to leave it on my mouth. Um, yeah, I don't like this color at all. Yeah, I mean, you can love it. And again, like I said before, if you love it and you have my skin tone, go for it, you know? But personally, me, I don't like how it looks. I think that Jeffree's colors are, what I'm seeing, are vastly different from one another. Even though this is my first time ever buying from him, I feel like all his colors are supposed to be distinctively unique. I feel like Jeffree Star Cosmetics for lips is like someone who will try all kinds of colors, you know? And I, I'm that kind of girl, you know? But this is like even more so, you know, someone who always likes to think outside of the box. And I think that that's really cool. I probably, if I had to use this shade, I would either mix the shade with a shade that was a little bit too dark, but probably this would be used as like a liner of some sort, like an eyeliner. Or if I was trying to dress up as a go-go dancer, then I would do that, you know? But no, I would never wear this like regularly. Just keeping it real with you guys. <laughs> the last color is Jeffree What The F, which is a bright neon magenta. Sometimes I start to wonder if I should change my mind. Jeffrey, what the F? is such a beautiful color. I knew it was gonna look good on my skin. You know, I've been doing lip swatches for a while now. I just I just knew it was gonna be beautiful and it did not disappoint. I like the formulation of this a lot. It doesn't feel sticky. It's kiss proof. 
it's moisturizing it doesn't feel drying which i really like a lot i'm gonna rate you guys i'm not gonna rate you guys sorry i meant i'm gonna rate the lipsticks we got oh my god at the bottom hoo, 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 hoo. and then we got rylan as a number five then number four we got shane then we got I gotta go. I think that this is a beautiful matte that could look really well on a lot of people. So that's number three. I'm between like and love with this one. And then we got the two shades that I love. So the second one I think is gonna be Jeffrey with the F because I think this is a beautiful color and stunning and gorgeous. I think that this is a wearable color. It's a fun color. It's, it's cute. You know what I mean? And then the number one one for me is Are You Filming? But honestly, Are You Filming and Jeffrey with the F I love them so much. And then I gotta go two I like a lot as well. So I feel like these three, if I had to do it all over again and, I, and I, knowing what I know now, these are the three that I would buy and I wouldn't buy anything else. So next up, I'm gonna let you guys know the long wearing test of this formula. Since it is the first time that I'm using this formula, I wanna let you guys know how it holds up. I have been wearing this lipstick since like 8 a.m. And I ate lunch just now good to go i only had a little bit of a red line there but i try my hardest to eat my hot dogs very my vegan hot dogs very carefully so so far so good hey guys so i've worn this color for over 12 hours now and it has held up very well i like i said i only got a little bit of a line after lunch but honestly that's pretty much it i do have some like red on my cup that i was drinking but other than that that was pretty minimal so it, it holds up really really well so that was a very long video but that concludes my entire review thorough review on the shane dawson jeffree star collaboration i hope you guys found this super informational if you did please give me a thumbs up i always genuinely appreciate it if you would like to see me review more jeffree star cosmetics products please comment down below if you guys want me to review more in the future i absolutely will and if you haven't already i would love for you guys to subscribe all you have to do is click on my face right here and you can watch some of my other beauty videos i hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day Bye. Every time, cause I guess I never loved you like I. Loved